Poland is a member of many international organizations. Let's see what is its history and position in the most important ones. The United Nations was created after the Second World War. Its aim is to solve international disputes by the means of diplomacy, prevent regional and worldwide conflicts, help in the event of natural disasters and protect human rights. Almost all countries in the world are its members. Poland is a member of the UN since the year 1945. It actively participates in political initiatives, sending humanitarian aid and military peace missions to different parts of the world. Within the UN, Poland promotes the development of democracy, respect for human rights and the protection of natural environment. The Council of Europe is an international organization gathering European countries. Its aim is to promote respect for the rule of law, parliamentary democracy and protection of human rights. After 1989, Poland came back to the family of democratic countries and began to integrate with the institutions of the Western world. The first stage was admitting Poland to the Council of Europe in 1991. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization is a defensive alliance of democratic countries, which during the entire Cold War was a counterbalance to the Warsaw Pact, a political military alliance of the communist countries. Poland was a part of the Warsaw Pact since the year 1955. After the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, and when the Soviet Union fell apart two years later, Poland had to ensure the political and military safety. In 1999, as a result of intense diplomatic actions, military reform and legal changes, Poland, together with Czech Republic and Hungary, became a full-fledged member of the North Atlantic Alliance. The Visegrad Group is a non-formal association of four countries of Central Europe – Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary. The group was created in 1991 in a Hungarian city of Visegrad. At that time it was called the Visegrad Triangle, as it was before the breakup of Czechoslovakia into two independent countries. The aim of the Visegrad Group is to strengthen international cooperation among the members on economic, political and cultural level. The only institution of the group is the Visegrad Fund, which finances cultural and educational projects. Presidents of the member countries meet once a year to discuss the current affairs of the region and suggest new initiatives. The moment Poland entered the European Union marked the end of a great political and economic transformation. Poland had begun to apply for membership in the European Union already in 1994, though official negotiations began in 1998. Five years later, the Council of European Union and the European Parliament approved the accession treaty. Finally, on the 1st of May 2004, Poland was accepted to the European Union. On this day, the EU granted its membership to Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, Malta and Cyprus. This was the biggest expansion of the European Union in its history. After being accepted to the European Union, Poland obtained a large amount of subventions for agriculture, infrastructure and social programs. Poland brought a lot of vitality and the capacity to deliver to the shared union's market as it is the sixth country in the European Union in terms of size. Entering the EU resulted in the improvement in living standards and the decrease in unemployment rate. Opening the borders means that Poles can work in the EU member countries.